On February 2nd, Phil the Groundhog predicted six more weeks of winter. His prediction seems to hold true as we enter the last week of March. But what does this extended winter mean for your peaches? Our reporter Kirsten McBriar talked to local farmers to understand the impact. Kirsten, what did you find? Yeah, Christian, we're at the end of March and the valley has yet to see their first 60 degree day, meaning Palisade peaches might not be available until later than usual. This record breaking winter may mean trouble for local growers. Early cold weather can be a negative for us, especially we have pretty much the latest fruit. Cocopelli Farm is one of the top growers of fresh fruit in the valley, but weather conditions might affect their business sales. Everybody wants to get into the peaches as soon as they can get our local Palisade peaches. Um, so that's probably the biggest hit is, is people want them two or three weeks earlier and we just say, yeah, they're not ready yet. Cocopelli says apricots are behind schedule. By this time of year, they should be blooming. One year, apricots bloomed on the 26th of February. We're a month behind that, which is really good. That was an exceptionally early year. But uh, yeah, apricots haven't started showing any color in, on any of our orchards yet. Harrison details not to worry just yet, because with a few days of decent weather, they could flower. And as for peaches, they will be available this summer, but maybe not as soon as you would hope. Primarily, usually in a traditional year, we'll start first week of July. Um, this year, I imagine, will be 10 days to two weeks later than that. An average growing timeline will continue till mid-October. So quantity of fruit available should not be an issue unless there is an early winter frost in the fall. Cocopelli Farms have their fruit stand opening this weekend, Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 5, full with local vegetables and more to come. Kirsten McBriar, KKCO News 11. Thanks for that report.